So we all have it, especially when we are kids. You see, kids don't know what they can't do. It is a power that literally takes us to places we've only dreamed of. It is the unstoppable power of enthusiasm. And here's my story. I remember exactly where I was when I discovered this power. I didn't know I had it, but it was working and working. And it's worked for me all my life. I was 11 years old and I was watching my favorite television show, Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear was bigger than life. He had this incredible personality. Hey, 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 I'm Yogi Bear, smarter than the average bear. And what was his little friend's name? Yogi, Yogi, we're gonna get in trouble with the ranger. Don't worry about a thing, little boo-boo. I got it under control. <laughs> you see, I discovered at a very early age that I had this uncanny ability and almost obligation to mimic voices that I heard, especially the voices on television. Well, in this particular episode, there was a little duck that was following Yogi around who kept saying, Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear, would you be my mama? I don't have a mama. And I thought to myself, wow, what a great voice. I'm gonna do that voice. Now, I didn't know that the people who did voices of cartoons were in Hollywood, they were professionals, they've been doing it for years. All I knew was that I was going to do that voice. So I turned off the TV, little black and white TV with a coat hanger for an antenna, and I got out my little recorder and I began, Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear, day after day. I saw it, I saw it, I knew I could do it. Bear, Mr. Bear. In fact, I tried it out for my mom. My mom is this tall. <laughs> and I would say, Mom, listen, Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear. And my mom, God bless her, she goes, Ah, mijo, parece Bugs Bunny, que bueno, que bueno. <laughs> she didn't know, she didn't know. So, there I am with my little recorder every day, and then all of a sudden, one day, out of my little 11-year-old mouth came, Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear, would you be my mama? I don't have a mama. I'm just a poor little orphan. Well, I was just as shocked as you are right now. <laughs> and I thought to myself, oh my, I couldn't believe it. I could make him say anything I wanted. And I thought to myself, okay, I've got to go someplace where I can try this voice out. And there was no stage, there was no audience, there was no microphone. But we did have, in South Texas, a place called Frontier Burger. It had the same format as Sonic. You drive up, you talk into the speaker, they can hear you, but they can't see you. And uh, I had a friend who had a car. We drive up, the guy says, Welcome to Frontier Burger, I take over, please? I rolled the window down, and I said, I would like a cheeseburger, I want to order fries, I want a hot apple pie, Dr. Pepper, and make it snappy, big boy. The guy left the microphone on, and I could hear him in the kitchen. Hey, check it out. I think there's a duck in the red car. <laughs> After a long period of time, he comes back on and says, Would there be anything else? I couldn't help it. I put the window back down and said, Yes. Would you be my mama? My friend was in hysterics, and I was officially in show business. The three pillars of enthusiasm are vision, belief, and gratitude. I learned this lesson from an unlikely source. On my way to do my radio show in San Antonio, at 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm driving, and I pull into a place called Taco Cabana. They sell breakfast tacos. And so I pulled in, and normally I hear crackling in the speaker, and I can't understand what they're saying. But this morning I heard, Welcome to Taco Cabana. How may I serve you? And I thought, oh, they have recordings now. So I gave my order, and that same voice said, All right, we'll have it for you. Come right on up. So now I was really intrigued. I pull into the drive through and there is this lovely lady who introduces herself and says, Hi, my name is Ruby. What is your name? Puts her, her hand inside the car. I'm going, uh, my name is Sonny. She says, well, 
We're going to have some fresh tacos for you. We're making some bacon. And did you want two sweet and lows, honey? I'm getting five-star service at a drive-thru. I couldn't wait to get on the air to tell my listeners about Ruby, and I couldn't wait to get off the air to write a letter to the president of Taco Cabana. Well, as time went on, we'd have these little 30-second conversations. We came to find out that Ruby was a single mom, recently divorced. Her husband came home one day and said, I don't want to be married anymore. Literally, she had the rug pulled out from under her. And how easy it would have been for her to say, what happened? I had everything. Now, I'm working in the middle of the night for minimum wage. It's over. But that was not Ruby's attitude. Her attitude was one of enthusiasm. She thought to herself, I've got to get my 13-year-old son to college. I've just got to apply myself. And that's what she did. And one morning, she taught me a lesson that, well, I'll never forget. She said, and by the way, whenever you're on the radio, people are always asking you for prizes and money. And by the way, I don't have any with me right now. But <laughs> they literally are always asking you for things. And I drove up and she said, Sonny, you wouldn't mind any chance have any tickets for tonight's Spurs basketball game, would you? I said, no, Ruby, I, I'm sorry, I don't. Well, I would like you to have mine. You see, I've been voted employee of the month and I cannot go. And you're my best customer. I want you to have these tickets. Oh. Unbelievable. Well, I graciously accepted the tickets. And I will tell you that that was several years ago. Ruby is now working for a major corporation. And yes, her son did make it to college. The power of enthusiasm. I would encourage you to use your enthusiasm, not only for yourself, but for others. Have that vision of what it is you want. Believe in yourself. Each morning, look in the mirror and say, I believe in you. And be grateful for what you have. And most of all, remember that we are all here to help each other. Thank you.